When Caesar decides to meet Tigger, he asks the sisters as well as a dog whisperer camera crew to stay back until he can assess the dog's level of aggression. All right, so that's the step one. I'm showing respect. Look, I'm introducing my scent, you know? But slowly he went one foot away, three foot away, so I'm doing nose, eyes, ears, believe it or not. When Caesar went in the bedroom, we were definitely scared. We were worried that we were going to hear him. Right, so that's, that's what we're working with, you know? That's uh, insecure, fearful. There you go. There you go. See, now he's quickly actually giving it up. When I'm dealing with a nervous dog, a fearful dog, a panicked dog, they're not using their nose, you know, for the most part. You hear that little bark, that real high-pinched bark. It's a very nervous bark. And that comes from a dog that is stimulated by eyes or is stimulated or influenced by ears. A dog that uses his nose, he goes, boom. He's terrified of people. That's the bottom line here. He's terrified. He's ready to bounce any minute. It's that moment of silence sometimes that's the most deadly with Tigger. Yeah. That's right before he strikes. No. But when it sustained, we couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. We thought, is he dead in there? He had uh, an amazing eye contact telling me, I need direction. Tell me what to do. The eye contact is great. I want the eye contact so I can give him my eye contact back. I'm not here to touch him. What he doesn't want is to be touched. Simple as that. So. Oh, yeah. So even when you go down, you got to be very careful because he can interpret as you coming towards him. My physical size was intimidating him. Even though I'm a short guy, uh, uh, for him, I was a giant, which I appreciate that from him. So look at my body language, how I'm going to go down so I can get him in a more comfortable zone. Going down, there you go. Going straight forward. Now, tilting means I'm feeding myself to you bite me. But if I go in a straight line, I want to be with you. He's going to see how shy he is, too. First, Caesar wants to make Tigger comfortable with the leash. A little bit of nose there. Oh, fantastic, I like that. Again, I did nose, eyes, ears. I acknowledge everything he said to me. See how he's holding his head? So that says he doesn't want the leash. It's already a negative, see? I give him affection with the leash. So now the leash represents that. Then you put it on. I acknowledge everything. I let him know that I knew what he was saying to me. There you go, find me a little bit, buddy. There you go, find me a little bit there. That's all we want. Just a little step forward. <laughs> Give one cute little chunky chihuahua. Give her that bad life. He's, he's kind of hanging out there. We've never been able to be in our apartment and have people over and not hear barking or vicious growling or anything like that. Yeah. So that's a, a milestone for him. Mm -hmm. you know, no, uh, so far, if he can fight, he will flight. <laughs> but he has never surrendered, you know. This is not avoidance, he's not avoiding, you know, he's actually facing the situation. Yeah. I was amazed to see him actually staying there. Quiet. And quiet. The and quiet mesmerized It me. was a relief. We've never seen him go forward like yeah, that. No. We, can't, we can't ever get him out of that state. 